Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Got so many exciting things to show you since last time. Um, been doing a lot of work, especially Greg. He's been doing most of the work. <laughs> I just do the drawings <laughs> and, and he puts it all out. She tells me what she wants done and I do it. <laughs> yeah. She does the thinking, I just do the, well, the about leg work. Thinking, I just put out the seeds and we figure out where we're going to plant them at. Yeah. So I'm That's trying what I'm to saying. get my book. Sort of. So I got my cheat sheet. <laughs> I got it. So, see, got my cheat sheet. This is where I drew out everything to see where everything's planted. Why? Because I don't remember. <laughs> so I need to write it down. I remember. He remembers because he did it. Yeah, that's right. So, anyway, uh, let's see, where are we going to start this time? It's up to you. Let's start with what I've done with the green stalks. And he didn't do that. I did that. <laughs> I helped. <laughs> you helped. Well, yeah, you helped me stack them back up because they yeah. do weigh a little bit once you put the dirt in them. So, and so it was getting a little heavy towards the top, so he got them. Yeah. But... What I did was, with two of them, I cleaned out all of the basil. So, here, remember I told you, oh, she's, <laughs> Miss Lucky's already in the corner. She's waiting for her hummers, because this is the time of evening that they come and eat for the last time. Isn't that right, baby? You waiting for your hummers? Uh, are you waiting for your hummers? Anyhow. So, remember how I was telling you guys the hummingbirds really love these blooms? So, I didn't feel right about just taking it down and getting rid of it. So, I put it in its own pot, and it's right here near the feeder. And they have been coming right to it. Oh, she must have, she must have saw a hummingbird. She just made that funny sound. So anyway, they, they've been coming to it, so I said, well, I'm just going to leave it right there, let it go to seed, let it do its thing. But that's the sweet basil right there. And the catnip, he's even starting to come back. Um, it kind of died out, so I was thinking, well, maybe it just doesn't like the heat too much, but it's starting to come back. Um, we'll see. See how it goes. And here, Greg put the bricks here. I think this is going to be the permanent location of the green stalks from now on. We'll see. That's, that could change <laughs> depending on the heat. Um, definitely not the cold, but we'll, we'll see what it does. Um, strawberries, you know, I have ordered some more of the um, galvanized like tubes, but they're going to be oblong. I'm seriously considering taking the strawberries out of the green stalks and putting them in there because they just seem to be on the struggle bus here and the strawberries they put out are not real big ones and they just I don't know I, I don't know what the deal is I you know I tried to put some more I put some cow manure in it and um, it just I don't know it's just not looking very good so but yeah that that's what I did with them and this one over here uh, I went ahead and we just kind of stacked it on there but that's what we did with those yeah. so um, <clears throat> I decided to go ahead and put below here the bok choy and look at here I got little baby bok choys coming up and that makes me happy because I really like bok choy so all of these pockets have bok choy on it so we'll see what they do and over here I decided to do the whole thing in romaine and um, the romaines did really well in the green stocks last year so I'm hoping during the winter not so much in the yeah summer. not in the summer you know well lettuces don't like summer right. anyway it gets too hot for them here so 
hopefully uh, they'll come in pretty soon. It's not exactly time for them to come up this. I think it's a few more days. So we'll go from that. And this one over here, I um, I did all kinds of different lettuces. Like for this top one here, I did a um, butter crunch in that one. So all the way around it's butter crunch. All the way around on this one, I've got, see I, see, I can't even read that myself. Anyway, that's another another blend. It's a blend mixture of different things. And this one here is lettuce mescaline, however you pronounce it. And then down here is another blend, and I've got two of those. And it's got like romaine and just a kind of a mixture of different things. But this is what we did with all of the holy basil. I, I got rid of the other sweet basils because they were not doing anything, but all of these are holy basil. And some of them are starting to go to seed. Um, I did notice this one. He's starting to go to seed. And, um, and, you know, it's getting that time of year. So, you know, I'm just trying to grow as much as I can with it. And then all of these are also the holy basil. Look at the blooms on the holy basil on this one. They're purple as compared to the white ones on the sweet basil over there. I don't know if you can see it on here. Look at there. See all these rows right here? All of them right there? That would be collards. <laughs> We're going to have a bunch of collards. And uh, planted some more. A um, little bit of everywhere. So here we've got jalapenos. Um, you see, they're getting pretty big. It's pretty much time to pick them, but I'm, yeah. I'm going to let them about, get... About time get, for some poppers. Well, it's not enough, so I'm letting them get a little bit bigger, so we'll have some nice poppers. Ah, uh, okay. Um, the sweet potatoes right there. Seem oh, to be thriving. They are. Whether or not they're producing underneath the ground, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, and again, those are just tops we cut off of some that we had gotten yeah. from the store. So, <laughs> Yeah, we'll see how it works. Cucumbers are looking good. We actually picked one of them from here the other day. And see, we've got a couple of little ones there. Um, and here, Greg planted the Napa cabbage. And it's like we already got bugs eating them. God. The, that's what happened to mine, and, and I had them in the green socks, and something's just started eating them. And right there is, see, I gotta get my cheat sheet out because I don't remember. Um, broccoli. That would be broccoli right there. Um, that one, Swiss chard. Swiss chard. And yeah, this, correct. look at here, it's coming up too. See? Yeah. Got some little Swiss chards. I, I just planted that a week ago, last Thursday. Yeah. And then here, more collards. Yeah. All there. Yeah. Those are some that I, I had to thin out the, the collards that we had planted in this main area. Mm -hmm. And I thinned them out, moved some here, uh, moved some, some to the to back there. behind the shed. Took yeah. some down to your mom. Took some down to mom's. Why? Because Kathy said, you know, you're not call it, calling them. You're <laughs> not calling them. We're going to save the collards. <laughs> yeah. So and I took about 25 plants down to mom's. And look at here. The okra still coming still up. Still producing. Still producing. Can y'all believe that? Oh, I got some down here even. Yep. So, yeah. That's good. <laughs> We'll definitely um, plant some more next year. Hopefully they'll come up. So we're going to plant them in this area. We're trying to kind of keep in notes on um, what is working and what is not. Yep. So one thing I wanted to show you was, what are you pointing at? The beets right there. Oh, I think there was something by my foot or something. No. <laughs> These are the beets Greg planted. They're little babies. 
So we'll see if they come up. But I don't know a few of you guys that have been with us for, well, for the last couple of seasons. Um, if you remember last year, or right before spring, I said, well, I am going to plant garlic to try to keep the pests from messing with the tomatoes. Well, they didn't really do well back here. I think we ended up, what, with one or two, and we transplanted those. Didn't we transplant one or two over there? Yeah. And um, the rest of them didn't come up. Well, this, was, this right here was one of the rows we planted them. Guess what? We got a gar two garlics coming up. Can you believe that? I planted these in here last December. And we got two coming up. Whether or not they'll actually survive, I don't know. You see something over here is eating the collars? Nope. Look at there. I see that. Already eating a, You know, we're going to fight eating the collards now. I'm telling you, look at here. Let's see what we got. Looking to see if there was a worm or something. I don't see any worms. But, yeah, I'll, I'll fight some bug over the collars now. But, got those sweet potatoes here. See, they're actually looking good. Yeah, they were just cuttings that we had taken off of the other ones that we mm -hmm. showed you. And here, got the chives going to seed. I'm letting them go to seed. And holy basil. See, more holy basil starting to go to seed. Rosemary. I think I'm going to pull that. I, I keep saying that. I know every video. And I keep trying to. Hopefully, he's got a little bit of oomph in him and he'll come back. But who knows? Now, I did transfer. Um, these sweet basil here, these are the ones that I cut and grew roots from inside of the house and they are working and I've actually even trimmed some to put in my tea but I think what I'm going to do now is dry some leaves you know, because I don't have any basil um, in one row of the pockets of the green stalks I had oregano, and so what I did was I, I cut it all back, and it's all dried and I already got it put up now. But I said, well, I'm just going to take my hand and put them here. They grow, they grow, they don't, they don't. I did the same thing with the mint. Whether or not they grow, I don't know. Giving them a chance. But my deal's coming back. The seeds that I planted. So that's exciting. I'm so glad. Oh. Look, we got dill growing outside of here. <laughs> Did you see that, Greg? No. Nope. Yeah. Apparently some of those seeds dropped some there. So we got dill growing outside there. I have to transplant it like I yeah. did with some of the zinnias. Yeah. So let's see if I can make my way back around here. Um, the banana bushes. This one here, I, I don't, I'm not sure about that one, but this one here. He's already blooming again. And it does smell like bananas. Got that one. And that one. I mean, it just blooms kind of popping up everywhere yep. around and here. They actually smell like bananas. Yeah. So, they're still... This is definitely a different kind than what my grandmother had in her yard because those blooms were, I would say, about a, as large as my fist. And the leaves were, well, probably about that long, as long as my hand. So this is definitely a different breed than what she had. But I think this is going to be the closest I can come to for it. So, um, got more sweet potatoes that Greg planted over here. They're still looking good. I just, I'm surprised. I'm hoping we get some sweet potatoes out of it. Again, we'll see. Um, the zinnias are 
having a hard time. They're on the struggle bus, but they're still pretty. Just love that color, that magenta color. And these over here on the struggle bus too. But we still got some pretty ones on it. I like these. I don't know exactly what kind they are, but I like this whole design here. I think mosquitoes are biting me. And got that one there. Uh, looks like we got some more coming up. I did the thing where I just kind of dropped the seeds down. And um, you can see some more coming up. So whether or not they'll make it before it gets cold, I don't know. But yeah, see like this one here, all I've been doing is I'll take them like that. And a lot of times I'll let them dry out. But just to show you guys, I just, yeah, of course he's going to be stubborn because I didn't let him dry out. <laughs> but I just kind of drop them in there and they're supposed to scatter all over the place. But it's not, not working. Not cooperating for you. <laughs> Yes, oh, my luck. Anyway, we'll let him dry on his own and shed whatever he's <laughs> going to shed. So that one's a pretty one. But this here, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with him. I mean, he keeps getting taller and taller and growing. It's almost like he's growing like little suckers like on the tomato. But he hadn't bloomed yet. I don't know if he's going to or, or what, but he got a pretty uh, strong stock. Yep. Um, the bottle brush is already all bloomed out. So you can see what I did, and I've got them in the house, but I, I took some of these blooms and uh, let's see if I can get it. But I'm letting them kind of dry out, and there's actually some seeds in there. And I think I'm going to try to grow some bottle brush bushes. I guess they're not really trees. They're more of a bush. But as you can see, all of the blooms are all gone. Hummingbirds are sad, but, you know, they're heading south. So well, let's see if this one will show me. Yeah, you can see the little seeds on them right in there. So I'm kind of letting them dry out and see what I come up with. And like I said, i got to do research too. Um, this is the only tomato plant that has survived all summer. And we are getting a couple of little tomatoes. And got that one. Hopefully they'll survive. Um, I don't see any worms or anything on it yet. Now, remember what I was telling you about that, that garlic right over there? Let me show you over here. Same thing. We planted a row of garlic. Only a couple of them came up. Well, this one and this one decided to come up on their own. And I think Greg transplanted a couple of them too, didn't you? Uh, some these came up on their own came. and I transplanted a couple. And then we've got that one. And then those two. Can y'all believe that? It's just crazy. And then in between that, he planted carrots. And they're starting to come up too. You see, they're kind of spindly looking, as Greg likes yeah. to call them. And so here, we got Brussels sprouts. And over there, we got the cauliflower. And they're looking all right. I see some of the leaves are kind of getting eaten on the cauliflower yeah, too. I see one was kind of. Yeah, he's kind of. Looks something like he digging be, around it. Uh, no, I don't think that was it. It just doesn't doesn't seem to be making it for whatever yeah. reason. Yeah. Oh, there's another one like right there beside it. Yeah. So maybe pull. The I'm going to pull and... this one. There. Okay. We'll see what it does. But you see, see them bugs? If anybody has any ideas how we can stop these bugs naturally, please let me know. Put them in the comments. Um, here, nothing but cabbage. As you can tell, we pulled that other zucchini 
that was there. Wasn't doing anything. But look. We've got cucumbers. However, the little one down there, the cucumber worm is attacking them. See? It's right here. It's, it's the remnants. It's, Once he goes inside. Yeah, he's kind of digging it out. Yeah. Digging his hole. So. It's, feels kind of hollow so i think yeah. he's made his way all the way through yep so that's what we're dealing with right now with the cucumbers i mean i'm picking them even before their time to try to have a little bit of cucumbers so but these are all the cabbage hopefully the cabbage worm will leave us alone last year it bothered us yeah so i don't know we'll see over here <laughs> Uh, this tomato bush, let me tell you a little story about that one. If you, this is your first time watching one of our videos. Um, we had tomatoes planted all here. So what I did was I took some of the suckers off of the better producing ones and I just stuck them in the ground. It's worked for me in the past. I just stuck them in the ground and they've grown. Well, then we had this tropical storm come through and we got all of this rain and it just drowned the ones we had except this one. Yeah. And, and what is she talking about with suckers? See how this yeah, see got how? kind of an elbow here? Yeah. And that, that would be considered the sucker. Yeah, but we're letting it grow. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pick them off this time. Yep. But it's already got blooms on it. But look at it. How big it's getting. So it survived. Mm -hmm. um, the other ones that I planted, like I say, did not. And then these four here, I had them planted over in the other bed where the collards are now. And I wanted the collards to go there. And um, so we planted them here. Yeah. I think we might have a hornworm. You see how it's eaten? Yeah. Do you see it? Clean the leaves yep. off. I looked earlier and I couldn't find it. We'll so. have to come out tonight with that black light. Yeah. You know, they say, you know, if you got one of those black lights come out at night, mm -hmm. you can see where they are because honestly, they do blend in with the tomato plant. So I don't see, just looking at it, I don't see it on there. And I don't see it on any of the others. But. The rest of these are also collards. Yeah. Why? Because that's because like that's the only space we had once we started thinning <laughs> them out. Because apparently I overplanted. Yep. Wasn't my fault. I didn't do it. <laughs> Looky here. This is so pretty. I just love these. I'm gonna try to save some of these because I'd rather have these than like the single ones. However, this one has a pretty color on it. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Zinnias are beautiful. I love the flowers. I just don't like the mess. So I guess I need to try to do some research on how to stop them from making the mess. I don't know. Um, this, why is her back, her hair? I mean, she was like bowed up with uh -huh. her hair, like she was going to attack somebody. Who you in? A, who are you going to attack? Huh? Did you see something? Huh? No. Okay. You just wanted me to put the camera in your face. <laughs> I bought this off of one of the clearance racks at Lowe's, and it wasn't doing well in a pot, so I just stuck it there, and I don't know what it is. But it's pretty. So, and of course, got marigolds. They're around. And I think that's about it. And yeah, it's a mess. Oh well. Won't be too much longer. They'll be all dying out. So, <laughs> the marigolds really taken off in here. And up until like a couple of days ago, the hummingbirds wanted nothing to do with them. But maybe now that they're all kind of blooming, and I guess things are kind of not blooming as much now, so they'll kind of go for anything around. So, 
Is there anything you want to say? No, I think you covered about everything. Oh, I know one thing. Um, and these other two green, well, actually, and all of them, but especially the two that I planted the lettuces in, um, when we took them apart, I kind of mixed up the soil and I put some cow manure and some worm castings in there and kind of mixed it up and um, then put some fresh potting mix in there to see if, you know, I can kind of give a little bit of nutrients back to the soil. Yeah, the dirt has got real packy yeah. and kind of tough for things to make, you know, to break through with the roots. So I think it was a good idea to, to kind of break things up, almost like plowing. Right, exactly. Have you all noticed how he says spindly and packy? <laughs> Is there another word you like? Hey, I, I grew up in uh, northern <laughs> Berkeley County, real rural. Um, so if, if, if that's the only bad or tough words I use, that's, um, that's okay. My, you know, my words are my words. I'm giving you a hard time. Yeah. That's what it is. Just giving you a hard time. It's okay. You wouldn't expect any it. less. I can take it. So, um, one thing, if you are watching this video for the first time, um, Greg has posted a video of from Hurricane Hugo from 35 years. Has it been 35 years, really? It's been 35 years. 1989. Wow. Um, it's hard to believe. Yeah. A video. I'm looking at the doves there, trying to bully the cardinals Squirrel. out of the way. Squirrel. Right anyway, so um, his dad used to walk around with one of those big VHS camcorders on his shoulder. I mean, everywhere. Well, he um, fortunately, he did that because um, right after Hugo hit, he took it out and filmed all of the destruction and stuff that... Um, was around in their yard and down around Highway 41. If you're in the Charleston vicinity, you know what I'm talking about. And um, so if you want to see what a hurricane can do, category four hurricane can do, see how it breaks pine trees right in half, I'll try to link the video at the bottom. If not, go to our channel, our main channel, and it'll be there. Yeah. So. Definitely, it's what fifteen minutes long. Yeah, about fifteen minutes. Yeah, and that's that's video that's it's twenty five thirty miles inland, so it still had plenty of power when it came through, and so it's just pretty yeah. pretty devastating at the time. Yeah, it really devastated the forest, the Francis yeah. Mary National Forest, for those who are not familiar with this area. But definitely watch it, and um, especially if you live on the coast, it will kind of give you an idea what a Category 4 hurricane yeah. can do to you, even if you live a little bit inland. So anyway, um, thank you for watching, and please like, subscribe, and share our videos. We appreciate it, and we are trying to get back on a regular schedule. Things are looking better, and um, especially this fall garden. One thing I wanted to tell you, <laughs> another one, <laughs> um, what we're doing, this is kind of an experiment that we're doing. Um, I took out all the seeds that I wanted to be planted for the fall winter garden. And Greg went on the Almanac website and wrote down the moon dates on when to plant these. Yeah. Greg's dad used to always plant by the moon. Yeah, that's the farmer's Almanac. Yeah, and um, so he always had the most beautiful gardens I've ever seen. And um, so we're giving it a try. This is all in, an experiment. And as you can see, everything right now is is growing and yeah. looking really good. So just want to let you guys know, keep, you know, subscribe to us so you can kind of follow us along on this journey to see if it works out for us like it did him. We hope so. <laughs> anyway, well... You guys have a good one and thanks for watching.